Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another reading. This is Divine Truth Tarot, and I'm Sarah. I'll be your intuitive guide for this reading. So for this reading, I've selected three decks. We have the Lightseer's deck. We have the sorry Magical Dimensions deck. I call it the Magical Activations deck. And we also have the Moonology deck because we had a full moon yesterday. So I thought it fitting that we have a Moonology deck included. Okay, so I don't have any announcements. I think we're gonna go right into the reading. And thank you all for being here. Grab yourself a seat, grab some popcorn, preferably vegan if you will, and be kind to one another. Let's uplift each other on this journey. Let's support one another and have a beautiful Friday night or if it's Saturday where you are, an amazing Saturday morning and let's dive in. So we're going to start with the Moonology deck. We are going to check in with the energies of the counterparts. So what I'm going to do for this reading is something a little different. I thought it would be really fun and enjoyable. We are going to do a conversation between the counterparts. I'll have the feminine over here and the masculine over here. Make good use of my brand new tarot card stands. Okay. So what say you cards? What say you today? And Archangel Michael, please create a sphere of protection around this room, around these cards, around this reading, around myself and around everyone watching. I'm inviting in my guides, my higher self, my angelic team, my light team, my ancestors and any benevolent beings of the light who wish to be present for this reading. Any of my star team as well. I'm feeling a lot of Andromedan energy coming in right now. So if you're an Andromedan star seed, I feel your presence very strongly. Thank you for being here. Okay. So I'm just getting some general energy coming through first. Right. Okay. So to start right off the bat right here, we have the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius so that's a sister fire sign to aries the full moon we just had in aries okay so i'm gonna look put this over here they're telling me this is feminine this is why is this not working this is masculine move these guys here okay so for the feminine energy we have the energy is gaining momentum so the feminine has been feeling this energy ramping up for quite some time for some of you, it's been over the past month, and for others of you, the energy has just been ramping up, say, over the past week. But regardless, what is happening here, okay, for the feminine? Feminine is saying to the masculine, I can feel you close, yet I can't see you in my physical world. So I'm walking sort of blindly. I know something is shifting. I know something is coming. I know there's changes afoot, but I can't see them. So I don't really know what to make of that. So I'm just sort of over here in this very intense energy, this anxious energy right now, because I don't really know what to make of what's going on. Um, so the feminine is saying to the masculine that I feel you coming. I feel you stronger every single day. And I also feel the shifts that are going on simultaneously inside of me. So the feminine is feeling, she's sharing with a masculine that there's a lot of changes going on right now in my world, in my inner world. There's a lot of rumbling going on. Things are not going to be the same after this year. We cannot go back to the way things were. There's going to be a new homeostasis. We're going into the golden age of humanity. So things are things have to shift. Okay, that is the bottom line. Things have to shift. We just we just simply can't go back. And the feminine knows this on a very intuitive level. She's working very closely with her light team as the masculine is working with his light team. You'll see it in the video I posted earlier today. Both counterparts are working with their light teams rather um, rather intensely right now. Okay. The masculine says back to the feminine, I need you to look at the bigger picture because whatever is going on in the 3D world is still an illusion. It's still very deceiving 
And if you look at that for confirmation of my love or for affirmation of the way that I feel about you or where this is going, where I am or when I'm going to be coming back, you're, you're going to be sorely disappointed. So I need you to trust in your intuition. I needed you to trust in the energy that you're feeling and that you're receiving because I can't make any promises right now because I have too much going on in my world, getting things in order for this union, getting things in order for me to step fully into my mission and to step away from things that were holding me back from my mission. There's a bigger picture here and it involves all of humanity. It involves making sacrifices on each of our parts in order to come together at the predestined time. And so the masculine is really in this energy of fiery, contemplation and yet wanting to act right because with Sagittarius it's the sign of the archer so we see right the bow and the arrow we see the masculine like really really um chomping at the bit to get to the feminine and to get to the next level of his to get to the next level of his evolution to get to the next level of his mission but he he's being held back and we, we know that but there's a green light that's being received at the same time okay so it's like he's being held back simultaneously he's being shot forward so yeah the energy feels a little strange and the feminine can feel that something is happening something is shifting and the masculine is telling her this is why this is what's going on so feminine what do you say back to the masculine Take time to breathe out. So the feminine says, make sure that you're taking time for yourself. Make sure that you are taking time for meditation, prayer, contemplation, just peaceful, quiet time. Um, I'm seeing that a lot of masculines are taking baths at this time and really doing some self-nurturing and self-caring, which is a very, um, which is very much their, their, you know, they're telling me, they're showing me that they're in their feminine energy of really caring for themselves, self-care, self-love. They're being very prudent with um, the way in which they take care of themselves because I think they realized that they hadn't taken care of themselves for a very long time. So they're starting to shift from that place. They want the masculine to know that in the midst of all of these changes and all of this sort of like fiery um, action oriented energy, they just want to remind the masculine, please, you know, please relax. Like, I'm not going anywhere. They're reassuring the masculine. DF says to DM, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I'm still waiting on you. I just saw 717. And I want you to know that I have not moved on, that I am still very much invested in this connection. I'm still very much invested in you. And you can relax a little bit. So just take time to relax. And the masculine says back to the feminine. <clears throat> Your dreams need a practical plan. <clears throat> Sounds like the masculine being um, the masculine. We have right now in this card a full moon in Taurus. The full moon in Taurus will happen on Halloween. It's a very rare moon. You guys have been hearing me talk about it. If you haven't yet, if you're new to the channel, brand new, take a look at some of my videos from the past week. I talk all about this, this very important uh, new moon that we have coming up in Taurus on Halloween. Okay, it's a very rare event. It hasn't happened in 76 years. And it's going to be very impactful for these connections and very impactful just in general for the world, the energy of the world and the energy um, of the shifts that are taking place. So the masculine says to the feminine, you know, root down, ground down into the 3D because that's really where you're gonna be able to shift your dreams into reality. So the masculine is saying to the feminine, be, you know, be more in your masculine energy um, if you want things to come to fruition. Okay, in your life. So this is the masculine really supporting the feminine in her dreams and in her goals. And he's giving, you know, sort of that that advice, you know, that that masculine advice that says this is what you need to do. You know, I see I see that maybe there's some struggles for some of the feminines. The masculine says, I see that you want this very badly, but you need to make sure that you're not just thinking about it in the 5D. You need to make sure you're actually taking those action steps, right? Don't just craft the vision board. Go ahead and take the steps, right? Make the phone calls, write the letters or the emails, reach out, do what you need to do. And the feminine says back to the masculine. Feminine says back to the masculine. Do what deep in your heart you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So the feminine's encouraging the masculine and reminding the masculine, masculine, you already know what's right. You already know where your heart lies. You already know where your loyalty lies. You know, do what is right. 
Um, so a little bit of encouragement there from the feminine to the masculine saying, you know, I understand the times are tough. I understand that, um, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of illusions going on still in the 3D world. And I understand that you've got a lot on your plate. But just like you're asking me to look beyond the illusions, right, and see the bigger picture, I, I need you to do the same thing. You already know the answer. You just use your intuition, use your inner guidance, and let that illuminate your path and illuminate the truth because you know that I'm waiting for you. You know that this is what you want. You know that our souls signed up for this before we incarnated. And now the only thing that's left to do is implement this in the, in the physical world. Okay. Masculine says back to the feminine, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So the masculine says back to the feminine, don't feel the need to rush into this romance. Don't feel the need to rush me because by taking your time, by us taking our time, we are going to be able to cover so much more ground and this union, this reunion is going to be that much more meaningful. You know, in this card, you see there, it looks like they're dancing with the trees. They're, they're, their limbs look like tree limbs, right? Their arms. And trees, you know, have the ability, there's a sense of community with trees. They're able to, you know, give each other nutrients. They're able to communicate through the soil and through their roots. So I see this as being, you know, the masculine saying, I want to root this down. I want this to be permanent this time. This is not a temporary union or reunion for me. This is a very permanent situation. And I just want you to know, I don't want you to feel like we have to rush into this. I want us to take our time. I want us to ensure that we are giving each other, you know, the, the ample time, ample space in order for us to really, you know, the masculine's afraid of messing up. Like in the past, they feel like I've messed this up, right? I've, I've been too... I'm careless with my feminine, with her heart and with her needs. And this time I want to do it differently. So if I'm holding back from you, feminine, your masculine wants you to know if I'm holding back from you, it's not because I don't love you. It's because I need you to understand that there are things that I'm taking care of here that you can't see or that maybe I can't share with you or maybe I don't want to share with you. But it doesn't mean that I care any less. It doesn't mean that I miss you any less. It doesn't mean that I don't want to be with you. It just means that I'm over here and I'm doing my thing and I need you to understand that nature will take its course that we will come together we will speak again we will see each other again we will unite again we will have our time we will have our day and there's no need to fret there's no need to worry because I'm walking away from what doesn't serve me. I'm not even walking away at this point, feminine. I'm running away from what doesn't serve me. And as I run away from what doesn't serve me, what, what does serve me, what wants to be in my life, what deserves to be in my life can catch up to me. But first, I have to accomplish being courageous enough to step away from things in my life. So understand that I'm still doing this. I'm still... I'm still learning about this connection that we have that roots so deeply, okay? I'm still learning how potent this connection is. And I want you to understand that I am absolutely, I'm not just walking, I am running away at lightning speed as quickly as I can to get to you. So you need to understand the importance of the way that I feel about you and the importance of this connection that we share. And the feminine says, I honor your strength. I know of our infinite connection. I honor the inner fire in you. I honor your passion that you have. I honor your dedication to making things work. And I know that you're going to be able to bring that into our connection when you're ready. So I honor that and I see you. I see you for who you are. I see your strength. I see your courage. I see your vulnerability. And I don't see it as weakness. I see that as your strength. And I'm over here cheering you on and rooting you on, even in the silence, right? Even in what appears to be the disconnect. I'm always here. I'm your cheerleader. I'm the silent cheerleader. What does the masculine say back to the feminine? The chariot. I've got another number seven. If you've been watching the videos recently on the channel, you know sevens are very significant for many of us. So we have another number seven. So seven, I know eight is the number of infinity, but seven to me is the number of infinity. It's like infinite potential. 
So what do we have here? We have choices, okay? The chariot signifies choices, two different paths to take. So the masculine says, and this has come up a lot for the masculines all through 2020. So I'm actually gonna bring these here. So the masculine says, I know I have choices to make, okay? Masculine says, I know I have choices to make. I know that there are decisions that I need to make. But what I'm hearing from the masculine feminines is the masculine, he's being given the green light by spirit and at the same time he's being stalled in a sense right he's being um he's being asked to take inventory of his decisions he's being asked is this really what you want is this really the path you want to take so there could be you know when you you decide and, and the whole universe conspires right to to help you achieve that goal well it's sort of happening right now for the masculine but he's being tested is this really what you want and for a lot of these karmic situations, the karmics are begging for the masculine to come back. They know that it's the end. They know they know about the feminine, right? Or the family knows about the feminine. They know that there's another person in their, you know, their, their partner's life. And they're concerned and they're worried. And what that tells me is that the masculine really has to stick to his guns regarding this decision. And I feel like he's gonna do it this time. I feel like things are gonna be different this time because the masculine has this fear, like this innate fear that if I don't act soon, I will lose my feminine because enough time has passed where the feminines have been getting really restless and really antsy. And again, a lot of the feminines have been asking, why am I still committed to this path? Why am I still committed to this person? Why am I still committed to this union? Because in all honesty, it feels like there's um, no hope in sight or no end in sight, you know, to the pain and the suffering, to the separation. So a lot of feminines are just questioning at this time. So the masculine's really feeling the push from the universe. They're, they're communing with their guides. They're communing with their higher self in a very, very potent way right now. That's creating a lot of magic, a lot of changes for the masculines, but they definitely are being asked, um, which, what is it going to be DM? And they're going to have to overcome the karmic partners uh desire to stay together the karmic partners desire to quote unquote work it out when they've been trying to work it out for some of them decades you know years they've the masculine's been trying to leave honestly for years it's just a matter of it being the right time so if your masculine hasn't yet left a karmic situation whatever that situation might be just understand that divine timing is at play and archangel metatron um, is coming in to let us know that you know not to worry shake off the fear because decisions are absolutely being made i mean if you see this if you look at this the masculine's running away from things and making decisions to run away and again as the masculine runs towards his destiny that his destiny run towards runs toward him okay that's just how it works it's sort of the law of the land as you run toward your destiny your destiny run towards you so i'm going to take these off so that we can clear the slate a little bit here Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. Feminine. Feminine retorts back and says, well, not really retorts. This is not a debate, but uh, I like that word retort. Feminine, feminine claps back and says, it's not a clap back either, Sarah. I know. I just like the words. Feminine responds back with grace and beauty and her feminine ways and says, there's some motherfucking tower moments that have hit me. And if you haven't been hit by those towers, congratulations, congratulations, uh, most of us have. Um, those of you who have escaped the towers, I uh, hate to tell you, but I do think they're coming. Uh, there could be a few of you who do not experience them, but the majority of us are experiencing tower moments. And uh, it looks like feeling like you've lost your mind, crazy ascension symptoms. Um, it looks like anxiety, insomnia, you know, sleepless nights, waking up odd hours of the night, not being able to sleep and then not being able to get back to sleep. Um, it looks and feels like things have been stripped away from the feminine. So it's like many tower moments that I feel like led to sort of a massive tower moment for the feminine where it's sort of like hopefully the final tower moment of 2024, the feminine. And the feminine's not uh, not loving the energy. It was definitely connected and tied into the Aries full moon. Um, I do have to say, guys, that the second full moon of the month, uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy per se, but it's going to be less challenging in many ways because the Aries is a fire sign. And this was the full moon for the masculines in many ways, okay? 
Um, so a lot of the towers that you felt or experienced feminine, the masculines are feeling and experiencing as well. And you're transmuting for the masculines. It's just what we do. It's what we signed up to do as feminines in this lifetime. And the full moon that's coming is set to be more, it's set to be gentler. Okay. It's an eight, an earth sign. It's set to be more grounding. So all these energies that got stirred up during this Aries full moon are going to be grounding when we reach or in the next few weeks reaching up to the Taurus full moon. Now I also want to say that we are in the shadow period of Mercury retrograde. Mercury goes retrograde, I believe it's October 13th. We'll be there for three weeks and then we'll have Mercury starts to turn direct. So a total of seven weeks, right? Two weeks before shadow period. Um, that's the shadow period before Mercury retrograde, three weeks of Mercury retrograde, and then two weeks after. Okay, so two two weeks um, before and after of shadow periods and a three week Mercury retrograde. What does that mean? Communication, you know, suffers. Uh, travel, technology, you know, things can happen. So if you're traveling at this time, which I will be uh, many times this month, actually, um, just be prepared. Let me make sure that you're double checking everything. If you're signing a dotted line anywhere, make sure you're signing, make sure you're doing your due diligence and checking before you commit to anything. Um, any, any sort of contracts, okay, or agreements, have them looked over by an attorney, you know, not once, but twice, but three times. And just ensure, you know, if you can hold off on making a commitment or signing a contract at this time, it would behoove you to do so, be wise to do so. Um, also, don't be scared of Mercury retrograde because we can use it to our benefit. And I'll talk about that more as we get closer to the actual Mercury retrograde. But yeah, definitely the feminine has experienced towers and it's like things have come down it's also been a mental tower for the feminines, okay, where the best way I can explain this is it feels like old wounds are coming up, they're resurfacing, they're resurrecting from the dead. And you're like, what? I dealt with this 10 years ago. Like, what the hell is this coming up for now? It's coming up again, okay? It's going to come up in your relationships. It's going to come up in conversations with family and friends. It's going to come up in your everyday dealings. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you're done? Have you really healed this? Okay, so it's sort of like coming as a surprise to the feminines, but it's coming up for more healing. Okay, so more healing wants to be done, feminines. And then the masculine responds by saying, I know you're over there and you're having this tower moment and I'm unable to assist you and I'm unable to help you because I'm over here making decisions in my life. I've got a full plate, but I want you to know that there is some joy that's being brought into my life finally, that I'm feeling some relief, less resistance and more relief. And I want you to understand, Feminine, I want you to understand that I know that things have to change. I know that things are changing and I know it's out of my control. So I'm no longer resisting or fighting like I was. There might be a little bit of resistance left in me, but for the most part, I'm letting go, I'm relinquishing control, and I'm realizing that the world is gonna continue. And these decisions that I have to make are big decisions for me. And I'm realizing that no matter what, life is gonna go on. And no matter what, I can either choose to be happy or I can choose to be miserable. And I know that it's up to me. And I thought loyalty for me meant staying in a situation that was killing my soul. I thought that was loyalty because that's what I had been taught. But I'm realizing now that my true freedom lies in me making the decisions for myself, not to please anyone else, not to appease anybody, not to be the quote unquote good guy, but something that resonates with my soul. So if it's not resonating with my soul, I'm saying no to it. What does the feminine say back? What does the feminine say back? The feminine says, there's been some sleepless nights. Yes, yes, yes. Check, 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 right, feminines? There's been some sleepless nights and I've been going through what feels like a nightmare, divine masculine. It feels like for a second there, it felt like I lost all hope, felt like I lost faith in you and faith in this connection. 
So when I don't hear from you for a long time, when I don't see signs of you, I get worried. Like, did I make this all up in my head? Am I crazy? And so I've had a lot of sleepless nights. But I'm coming out of that now, connected to other divine feminines and I know that it's temporary and I know that I'm going to be able to get lifted out of this and I understand my own strength and my own power my connection with you has helped me see how powerful I am so I know that I'll be okay and the masculine says how could you ever think that anyone could ever compare how could you ever give up on me or us or, or yourself you are the absolute queen of my world you are the empress of my life. You are the love of all my lifetimes. I see you as the most beautiful, creative, fertile, incredible, intelligent, funny, loving, caring, committed, magical human that I've ever known. I see you and I have you on this pedestal and I see you as the other half of me, as the better half of me. You don't even know how important you are to me and how much you mean to me. You have no idea how I look at you and how I see you still. I still look at your pictures. I still feel just as much love as I did in the beginning. And actually it's grown in the absence. It's grown in your physical absence. It hasn't lessened, hasn't weakened. It's gotten stronger. I have not forgotten. I will not forget. I cannot forget. Did you know, my love, that you also have the powers and the gifts of intuition? Do you know that you're psychic? And that all the answers that you think I have, that you actually have, my beloved divine masculine, it's not just me that has these gifts, it's also you. You have the same gifts that I have. You just haven't been able to see it yet in yourself. You're just as powerful, you're just as strong, you're just as incredible. You have the ability to see things, to know things, to sense things. And I know that these gifts are coming online for you. And I know it's scary because you're realizing how powerful you actually are. And when great power comes great responsibility, my love. But I am here for you. I'm guiding your way. I'm lighting the path. All you have to do is take one step forward and then another and then another. And you'll find me. You'll sense me in every step that you take because I'm not that far ahead. I'm right there with you walking the path. The path of our journey, the path of our mission, the path that we agreed upon before we came into this incarnation. It's always been you, it's always been me, and it's always been us. My love, my beautiful divine feminine, my empress. I've worked so hard on myself, on growing my power, on believing in myself, on knowing my worth, so that I can come to you with a full heart, open eyes. And as the man that you see in me, that you knew that I was before I could even be that man for you or that woman for you, I want you to know that I am becoming him, I'm becoming her. And it's taken everything in me to walk this path, but I have chosen myself. I have chosen myself over anyone and everything. And anyone that's tried to deter me from the path has only made me stand up that much taller and that much stronger. And there's been a lot of people that have tried to deter me from you and from us and from this. But I'm not having it. I won't allow it. I won't allow it because it's not my truth. The 
the Divine Feminine says back, you and I are both receiving downloads at this time, downloads of who we are, of who we've been, of where we've been, of how many lifetimes we've had together. You're a star seed just like me. And we have all the angelic guidance and truth and illumination that we need at this time. Our star families are working with us. They're working heavily with you, my love. And they're helping you to get your power back. They're helping you to step into your strength. They're helping you to really illuminate that personal sun that exists inside of you that always has and always will. And they're letting you know you are so worthy and deserving of this love. You're so worthy and deserving of this life with me. Fear not, Divine Masculine, because you are never alone. I know how lonely you felt this year. I know how lonely this journey can get. You're never alone. Because not only am I always with you, but you have your angelic light team that's always, always loving you, supporting you, seeing you, hearing you, knowing you. I know, my Divine Feminine. I know. I know that I am connected now to Source, to God, to the universe, to heaven. I know it because I feel it. I receive messages now every single day connecting me to that higher path that you've always talked about, to that higher wisdom, to that higher soul. It connects me to you. It connects me to the cosmos. It connects me to past lives that we've had together connects me to our destiny and to our mission together on this earth, in this lifetime, in this incarnation. I know exactly what I need to do, so don't worry. There is no possible way that I could take the path that doesn't lead me to you because all paths lead to you. Even when it seems like they don't, even when it seems like it's a deterrence or it's getting in the way or it's hindering union, it's actually helping us. It's actually teaching me and showing me. I've reached a place of just inner contentment. So if it seems like I'm quiet, divine masculine, I'm just appreciating solitude. I'm appreciating my time alone. And I'm releasing the need to know when and why and how. Well, I know the why, but I'm releasing the need to know when and how this all comes together. So if you feel like my light has dimmed, it's only because... I've pulled back a little bit so that I can trust. So that I can trust in my inner knowing. So that I can release control. So that you can do what you need to do to hop on that chariot to get to me faster. Because I was clinging and I was holding on. And the universe told me it was time to let go. It was time to release. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm releasing. I'm relinquishing control. And I just want to see what happens. You know, what happens next? How will you come? I want it to be a surprise. I don't want to know before it happens. I just want it to happen and I want to be completely and utterly surprised when you do show up and you do speak your truth because I know it's coming. I know it deep down in my bones. So final message from the masculine to the feminine says, okay, these don't want to stay up. <laughs> we will put these down. They don't want to stay up. Final message, feminines from your masculine says, I'm no longer allowing myself to live or come from a place of fear. From this point forward, I'm learning to stand still just as you're learning to stand still. I'm going to mirror that to you so that I can step fully into my power so that I can own 
my power so that I can own my magic, my gifts, my absolute destiny. And I'm just dancing with joy and pride. I'm beaming from ear to ear because that fear had a grip and a hold on me for so long that I thought it would overtake me. I thought it would take me away from you, away from this destiny, away from my mission, away from this earth even. That's how strongly the fear was. It told me to run. It told me to run in the other direction. It told me to run away from you. And that's what I did. I ran, but now I'm running towards you because I know that as I run towards my destiny, my destiny runs towards me. And you are my destiny. You are my path. You are the person that I'm supposed to be with. You are the experience that I'm supposed to have in this lifetime. And how can, how can I have that experience if... I don't have your presence or your warmth. I now embrace and love and accept all parts of me, every part of me. And I'm no longer running. I'm going to face everything and rise. I'm opening my heart to all the magic, to all the alchemy that is this experience, that is this life. And I'm transforming all of my fears into my fuel because I'm creating a future that's unlimited, untethered, empowered, long-lasting. I'm creating something that I'm going to be known for, something that is going to remain after I go. I'm creating a legacy, setting myself on fire, divine and feminine. And I know now that I can manifest everything that I desire. I know this now. I know this because I have worked on healing. I've worked on healing all the places where I thought I wasn't enough. I didn't do enough. I couldn't be enough. I used to think I wasn't enough for you. And now I realize that that was a lie, that I was lying to myself. I was lying to you because it was easier. But no longer, I don't want the easy path. I don't want the path that takes me away from you. I want the path that takes me closer to you. What does the Divine Feminine say back to her beloved? She says, I am finding my way towards bliss. I'm allowing myself to experience pleasure. I'm healing any sexual trauma at this time. I'm healing from anyone or anything that was not pleasure. So if it was trauma, traumatic, I don't know what I just said, that was trauma, <laughs> if it was traumatic, there was trauma in my life I'm healing from that I'm allowing my loins to heal and I'm realizing that my sexuality is sacred my sexuality is one of my greatest strengths and my greatest gifts to be able to give to you my beloved I know that step by step if I just follow my bliss if I follow the path of my bliss that it's going to lead me to this great incredible amazing life where everything that I want will be illuminated. And I understand that it's not up to me to know how this unfolds or when it unfolds. I have to accept that I don't know everything. I have to just accept the bliss that's granted to me in every single moment. That is the undercurrent of every interaction that I've ever had in this life, moment by moment. I realize that that's all I have. And I realize that everything will happen in divine right order. That everything that is on my destined path, that it can't pass me up. If it's meant for me, it will always find me. And I know that you understand that too because we're both releasing fear and we're both stepping towards our bliss. We're both stepping towards the path of illumination. We're illuminating ourselves. We're healing. We're risking an all to be together. In this lifetime and I know that once we set our life on fire that we will find the person that fans our flames and that's you and that's me that's us for each other no more fear no more fear no more settling for less than because when I heal the program that allowed that was allowing me to settle for less my beloved I kept you at arm's length because you are so much more than anything I've ever allowed myself to have. 
So I was operating in as much fear as you were. So as you transform from fear to fuel, guess what? You allowed me to follow my path. You see, my beloved, we illuminate the paths for each other. We stand by each other. We stand next to each other. We support each other. We uplift each other. We take each other's hand when the other has fallen. I will never leave you. I will never leave your side. And I know that you feel the exact same way. I love you so much and I'll see you so soon. Have a great day, guys.